This is a review for the Roborock Q5 and Q5 Plus. The Q5 Plus comes with an auto empty dock and compatible dustbin, while the Q5 does not. Otherwise, the two robots are identical. The Q5 replaces the S4 Max as the cheapest mapping robot vacuum from Roborock. Even cheaper models like the E4 and E5 don't map. They can't generate an interactive map of the area they clean, and so they don't have keepout zones. The Q5 is the cheapest Roborock robot vacuum with this functionality. Let's see how it did in our tests. The Q5's airflow was measured at 14 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.1 kPa. This robot has a very similar brush roll and side brush configuration to that of previous generation Roborock robot vacuums we've tested, like the S4 Max. Like the S4 Max, its brush roll compartment is right around 6.5 inches wide. This is the width of the robot's direct clean path, the path over which it directly agitates carpet and pulls up debris. The robot's overall clean path is much wider, as it also uses its side brush to pull debris from the perimeter of the robot into its direct cleaning path. With this design, and despite its below average measured airflow and suction, the Q5 performed very well in most of our debris pickup testing, including our carpet stress test. As part of a single cleaning cycle, most robots, including the Q5, make two passes over all areas in the space. Most other robots leave behind a fair amount of debris after one pass and have to pick up a good amount of debris during a second pass. The Q5 left behind very little debris after one pass and had to pick up only a small amount of debris during the second pass. In our carpet deep clean test on default power, the Q5 picked up six grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. This is the same result as that of its previous generation counterpart, the S4 Max. On maximum power, it picked up eight grams of debris. This is a slightly better result than that of the S4 Max and a very good result overall. Moving on to our hard floor stress test, the Q5 once again picked up all debris types very well. After only one pass, it picked up more debris in this test than most competitors. It once again makes a second pass over all areas to complete one cleaning cycle. The Q5 also performed very well cleaning edges. It gets sufficiently close to the edge to clean it properly when moving close and parallel to it. Certain previous generation Roborock lighter robot vacuums, including the S4 Max, did not get as close to the edge and so did not clean edge debris as well. The Q5 did not perform well in our robot vacuum crevice test on default power or on maximum power, though most other Roborock lighter robot vacuums and most other robot vacuums we've tested in general also did not perform well in this test. In our human hair pickup test, the Q5 picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. This isn't a good result, but it is a relatively average result nonetheless. Most other robot vacuums we tested also tangled very easily with the longer hair we use for this test. Most robots, including the Q5, performed much better in our pet hair pickup test. It didn't pick up all of the tufts of hair in one pass, but it did eventually pick up and collect all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we first see how the Q5 uses LiDAR to navigate in a very precise row by row pattern across the room. It does well to get complete coverage over the whole room and move in a crisscross cleaning pattern to ensure the highest probability of picking up especially stubborn debris. We use our clutter room test to determine how well the robot can navigate around larger obstacles like chairs and tables. And here the Q5 again does very well. It's able to navigate around all of the obstacles in the room very precisely and efficiently. It also gets good complete and redundant coverage in this test with crisscross cleaning patterns in the few open spaces of the room. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Roborock Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the Q5's runtime, 
bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the Q5 one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The Q5 picks up surface level debris on carpet and hard surfaces very well. It picks up edge debris without issue. It deep cleans carpet well for a robot vacuum and it navigates very precisely and efficiently. It also has above average battery life and relatively low noise output. Lastly, we also really like the self-empty functionality of the Q5 Plus and the upgradability of the Q5. Should you buy only the robot to start, it is fully compatible with this auto-empty docking station if you buy the station separately later on. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the Q5's brush roll tangles quite easily with longer hair. This is a fairly average result for a robot vacuum, but it is a negative nonetheless. Another negative is the robot's slightly below average size dustbin. The Q5's dustbin has a volume of 470 milliliters. The average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far is about 500 milliliters. We also don't like that the Q5 isn't at least compatible with a mopping attachment. In terms of general recommendations, the Q5 is a definite improvement over its previous generation counterpart, the S4 Max, which features an almost identical design and also cannot mop. Compared to the S4 Max, the Q5 offers better carpet deep cleaning performance on maximum power, paths closer to edges for better edge cleaning, and adds self-empty docking station compatibility. We like the S4 Max outside of its edge pickup performance, so that being fixed with the Q5 makes us really like the Q5. Its added self-empty docking station compatibility also makes a huge difference. Compared to most other options at its price point, the Q5 is a better all-around performer with less flaws and less egregious flaws. It's also one of few options at its price that offers above average general pickup ability and above average navigation. Most competitors do not navigate as well. All of this makes the Q5 one of the best robot vacuums you can buy for the price. It is currently recommended as one of the best mid-range robot vacuums we've tested. See the description of this video for a link to buy this robot, as well as a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.